Right now, I'd like to show you the famous three card trick. Any idea how many cards it uses? You guessed it, five. That's right, five cards in the famous three card trick. Now, uh, the reason it's called the three card trick is because the card to keep your eye on is this one right here, the three of hearts. Okay, the three of hearts. So watch carefully. We're gonna take the three of hearts, drop it to the bottom of the packet. With just a little riffle, just a little click, then instantly the three jumps right to the top. That was so much fun, let's do it again. Watch, there's the three. It goes to the bottom. Once again, we riffle. Once again, we click. And the three jumps right to the top. Now, you might be saying to yourself, this is all well and good, but these cards could all be three of hearts. I mean, you didn't, you didn't show us the cards before. But actually, they aren't the three of hearts. No, these cards are actually the four queens. That's right. So let's do an experiment here with a couple of queens and the three. In fact, we'll take the clubs and the spades and we'll put the three right between them, just like so. Now watch carefully. Three cards here. I'm gonna place them on the table, just like that. Which of course leaves me with the red queens, right? But watch. Did you see that happen? Look, fast as lightning, boom! The three of hearts appears right between those two red queens. And watch if we just do this. The now. The red queens switch places with the black queens. So the three is once again between the black queens. Now, some of you might be saying to yourself, that's all well and good, but I can tell there's still three cards on the table here. And what are those three cards then? Well, these three cards, of course, are the other three threes.